Welcome to Leaks Code. In today's video, we're gonna be restructuring our bot structure and also improving some of our previous episodes code. This video is going to be the beginning of a monthly video series where we go over our bot and do some improvements to our bot as we learn more during the development process. This video is completely timestamped so you can find the timestamps down in the description so you can skip over some parts that are not important to you. So let's get into it. Alright, so like you see in our episodes, we have this little box that will tell you if an episode is about a handler or uh, I mean a structure or commander event uh, we're gonna be doing the same to our bot structure so like we see here if you have followed along our series then your command structure should be or your folder structure should be looking like this you have your commands events handlers validation and your index.js file in, in the same folder now we're gonna go ahead and create a new folder inside of the main folder and we're gonna call it structures so Alright, so inside of that structures folder, we're going to be moving in our structures. So our index.js, our config.json, the validation folder, and our handlers. And now here we, we might get a couple of errors from Visual Studio Code, and I will tell you why. So like you see here in our index.js file, we required the token from our config.json file. Now it might auto change it to the correct one, but it also might not. So you're gonna go over to all of your files where you imported other files and check over to make sure that it's the correct importation. So let's go ahead and do that with the token. So inside of our index, now we're gonna go ahead and type dot slash config.json file and now here we fix our index so we can close out of it all right so let's go to our let's remove all of these for now and open them up again so let's go to our event or command.js file like you see here we require the perms array from our validation folder so to me it looks all right but let's make sure that it's actually correct so dot dot slash validation slash permissions and the same with the events handler it looks right but make sure that it's also right so now to uh, uh, for our events for example i remember in the client we required our in, uh, config.json file so what we're going to be doing is we require it so we're going to type dot dot slash dot dot slash and we're going to go inside of our cons uh, structures slash config.json file and now uh, we have that uh, uh, correct you can go to your inter uh, whatever your events or guide or uh, commands you have where you imported any of the stuff or any of other files and make sure that they're imported correctly. Now, if we try to run a bot, let me close all of these folders. This is how our uh, bot should be looking like, very clean. If you try to run a bot, it's gonna give you an error because it cannot find the main entry. Now, if you go to our package.json file, uh, we can see our main is still index.js while we move the index.js uh, to our structures folder. So here we're gonna type dot slash, let's copy the name of our structures folder, structures slash index. Now let's run our bot and see if we have any errors. So node space dot, and like you see here we have uh, we have uh, no errors uh, the guide is not defined because it's def because I didn't even define the or define uh, the guide in here so you don't have to worry about that you don't have that all right so let's move on to the next uh, improvement all right so for our uh, next improvement we're gonna improve our handlers a little bit so let's start with the commands.js uh, like we see here, we required promiseify globe, then we promiseify the globe package, and then we required the table package. And we did the exact same thing in uh, inside of our events.js, which is our event handler. So to skip writing or clogging up this code, we can only we only need to require this stuff one time for both of these files. So let's go ahead and crop this by typing control X or pressing control X. And we'll do the same thing inside of our events uh, folder. So we'll crop this and our commands ha a commands handler and the events.js, which is the event handler, are a little bit more cleaner right now. So to do that, to be able to run the packages either way, we have to go to our index.js and here we can paste whatever we copied. And let's remove this line over here, the or line 10 and 11, which we are requiring the, the files in. And here we'll create an array. So the first item in the array is gonna be events which is the exact name of this events handler folder and then for the next item it's gonna be commands for the command handler and now we're gonna type for each so we're gonna tell the bot to, for each file we can or uh, yeah we're gonna define the, the files as handler All right and now we're gonna create an error function and here we're gonna type require 
with backticks dot uh, dot dot or sorry dot slash handlers slash and here we'll type handler inside of this dollar sign and this curly brackets and what we can do here is we're gonna pass the client we're gonna pass pj uh, and then the table in this order so remember this order now we're gonna close out of this put our semicolons we can copy this line we can copy whatever inside of this uh, bracket now if we go to our events here we can uh, paste it here instead of only uh, exporting the client and the same thing here and now let's try to run the bot tutorials uh, I think we're gonna get an error somewhere here because this guide so let, let me get my guide ID real quick all right all right so now we're gonna run the bot so node space dot let's see here uh, handlers events so if we go to our end I wrote events with an N with M so let's change that so events now if we run like you see here our events loaded and our commands loaded alright so for our next improvement is uh, it's especially for the commands .js which is our command handler so let's uh, try to run the bot right now and we're gonna get an error saying that the user info command is missing a description and it's not gonna run the user info command. Uh, the user info the command uh, that we created in the previous episode, it's it was a context menu command and context uh, uh, commands does not or cannot have a description. So I uh, posted the fix on uh, let's uh, let's see here in in the comments of that video and. Um, in this announcement channel join the discord if you need help by the way and like you see here with we, we did command if command dot type isn't user and it doesn't have a description we're gonna send an error so we're gonna improve it a little bit inside of this video so let's go to our handlers to the commands.js so within uh, let's let me remove because i was testing so within this uh, if statement we're gonna type exclamation mark command dot context and if command doesn't have description so what this means is we're gonna shake so if the command isn't a context command and it doesn't have a description then it's we're gonna send an error saying that failed because it's missing a description but now we have to edit something in the user info command so if we go to the commands to the utilities user info now we're gonna go down one more line under the type and here we're gonna type context true so it is a context command. So now if we run the bot, we should see that error is no longer because we fixed it now. So the bot knows that it's a context command. So now if we go to the discord and uh, use that command on somebody, it's going to send us. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's better than the fix that we posted in our, uh, let's see, announcement over here because it, the command type can be many, can be user, can be a message, can be chat input. So it's pretty simple. So this was it for the episode. Uh, I might have forgot something, but I will make sure to add it in the next video. But uh, this was it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one.